Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I want to show you in this video the YouTube application on the Galaxy Nexus which is of course running Google Android version 4 better known as Ice Cream Sandwich. So let's tap on the Google icon here and we will launch the YouTube application. That runs in either portrait or landscape view. We we'll start off in portrait view here and um, you can see it's very well laid out. I've got my account details already uh, signed in on this particular handset but we can browse through on the home screen and this is pulling in feeds from my subscriptions so it gives me content relevant to what I want to watch. I can also browse so this is allowing me to browse all the various categories on YouTube and then I can go into my account as well and look at my uploads, favourites, subscriptions and playlists. Now I can also, while I'm in the home tab, I can tap the video icon that lets me record a video. I can also search and I can also tap here to change settings, give feedback and look at the help file. Now let's move around into landscape orientation and you can see it remains pretty much the same. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you. So we've still got that nice layout with the tabs across the top and I can also perform a search. So let's have a look, see what the search looks like and let's type in Geekanoids into this top bar. And this is going to search for all of my videos. The results it gives are pretty mixed up. I would like these YouTube applications to actually sort the results um, into date order. If I tap here, I can actually look at ones from today, this week, this month, or all time. But if I, for example, tap this month, they're still mixed up. We've got one day ago here, three weeks ago. Scroll further down, two weeks ago. So they're not in any particular order. So I think that could be a lot better. Let's um, come out of here and let's search for something else. Let's search for iPhone 4S and see what it brings up with that search. So here we go, we've got all the iPhone 4S results that we can scroll through. So plenty of footage. It says here, quickly spot 3D videos by following the 3D badge. So it gives you little hints as you're actually using the application. So let's go um, back and we will go into my account Then let's look at my uploads and we'll play something back to give you a look at the actual quality. What better than my first look at the Galaxy Nexus mobile phone? So let's tap on that. It starts buffering it. Controls down the bottom here for um, uh, going back into the other mode or for skipping through the video. It says it's in high quality. I can also up at the top here I can actually share this video as well. If I tap the share icon it gives me a choice of sharing it by Bluetooth, Evernote, Gmail, Google Plus Messaging, TweetDeck or WhatsApp Messenger. Let's go back and set it playing again. Just buffering again, here we go. Now I'm going to stop talking and put the volume up to full volume. Nexus mobile phone in the Geekanoids office for testing. I wanted to give you a very quick look at what you get inside the box. This is the front of the packaging. Very nice packaging. Uh, simple design. So there we go. The actual um, volume is a little bit on the quiet side, but one thing I have noticed about the Galaxy Nexus is it doesn't distort the sound. So that's very good indeed. Really good job on the sound front. And I've also got the brightness set to um, auto brightness. Let's just pause that a second and let's go back out to our home screen and I'm going to actually go into settings. Let's just turn this round and go into settings. I'm going to set that brightness to the full brightness so that we get a look at what that YouTube video looks like with the brightness up to full. So let's go back out and we'll go back into YouTube and we shall hit play again and rotate this around. 
and now this is running at full brightness just to give you a look at how vivid the screen is let's have a look at those viewing angles as well so let's tilt this down so we're starting to get some reflections now but still viewable and that is a very good viewing angle let's come back around this way and again a very good viewing angle this is great uh, result for viewing angles and let's have a look at it on this axis superb viewing angles on this screen very bright vivid colors and again as I said the sound that this produces even though it's a tiny little speaker um, on the back here where's the speaker gone just there it does a very good job so this is the YouTube app on ice cream sandwich I hope that's given you an insight into how it works uh, before I sign off this video let me just go back out to my home screen I just want to show you the YouTube widget because I've got a widget here somewhere where did it go have I taken it off I think I've taken it off so let's add a YouTube widget back in so we go into here and into widgets and we will find the YouTube one I wanted to show you this because it's a really nice little widget come on where's it gone oh here it's down here and we will add this into this screen over here pop it up there it's, a, it's an extremely intuitive widget you can't really do any searching from it but it shows you your subscription feeds and you can sweep through them like so so you can sweep the top one off and we can go through till we find something that we want to watch and let me see which one shall I watch which one shall I watch let's have a look at this one here I think I saw earlier here we go let's yeah let's have a look at Jared Polin so we tap the widget and it goes straight into the YouTube app and starts playing in this particular format you can of course turn it round into landscape and it will play it full screen so that's it for this video this was a look at the YouTube application on the Galaxy Nexus running Google Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich thank you very much for watching I will see you all in the next video.